Hi guys, Noah Karspeck in here, Iowa Fire Control and IFC Security, bringing you another video for end users, fire equipment distributors, AHJs, all those folks out there that want a little bit more information on fire extinguishers and fire suppression. Uh, today the video is comparing the stored pressure type fire extinguisher to the cartridge operated fire extinguisher. Uh, if I have a choice between these two, I choose cartridge operated pretty much all the time. Can be overkill in an office type situation and things like this, but if you need a fire extinguisher to work for you, cartridge operator is going to be the one. So, the main reasons I would choose a cartridge operated fire extinguisher is one, it's at 220 psi through a cartridge inside all the way through. With a stored pressure type fire extinguisher, when you squeeze the handle, you may start at 190, or if it's a high flow type stored pressure, might start at 220, 240, but as you pull, that handle down, what you see is you drop pressure all the way down. And so you don't lose pressure with this, and so the flow rate is consistent all the way through when you're fighting the fire. With this, your flow rate decreases as you fight the fire. Uh, we have used both these fire extinguishers at numerous fire extinguisher trainings at the, at the Ansel Fire School, and having one of these in your hands when you're trying to fight a big fire, you can tell a noticeable difference. Um, the other reason that I like the cartridge operated is it's super durable. So if you drop this thing while you're standing up on its side, it's not going to dent the bottom, it's not going to dent the side. And for those of you that know anything about fire temperatures, the store pressure, if you drop this thing, if I was to drop it from right here, it's probably done. You're going to have to condemn it. This guy, you can drop it from, from high above and you're going to be good to go. These shells are more durable. The nameplate right here on the front, way more durable than the nameplates on the store pressure type. So if you're in a heavy industrial, a mining, a forestry, uh, recycling, any type of a large factory, and you want to have a fire extinguisher that's not going to have to be replaced every three, six, nine years, um, choose this guy. The other beautiful part about the cartridge operated fire extinguisher is these guys only have to be hydro tested every 12 years. Service schedule on a stored pressure mild steel unit is every six years, six year teardown, every 12 years hydro test. So you have an extra service in between as opposed to using this guy and only having to service it every 12 years. Uh, the other nice part is, is that as you can see from the top, there's an indicator cap right here, optional. Pull pin, optional. There's lots of options on these guys. There's not a whole lot of options on a stored pressure unit. Again, we sell both these units and we believe that there's a use for both of them. However, the cartridge operated fire extinguisher, more durable, pressure all the way through. Uh, you can use it in pretty much any type of application you're looking for. The nameplate's not going to get torn, it's not going to get dented, rusted, gouged, all those kind of things. And there's a better warranty. There's a 12-year there's a warranty on this, there's a 6-year warranty on this. So when you're choosing a fire extinguisher, know your, know your site, do your hazard analysis, have your fire equipment distributor do your hazard analysis, and choose the right fire extinguisher that's going to last for a long time and is going to put out the right type of fire.